It's day 276 of 365 and I'm up early enough to go and get myself a cooked breakfast. Yeah! And it looks quite sunny, there's a lot of cloud out, but it's a really nice day, I think. Bev's still in bed all tired and Gemma's just got up. Thankfully, she hasn't got a man in her bed this morning. What the hell's with all the roads looking so clear? Something feels different about today. It's like Newport's being cleaned up. I had this weirdest dream last night. It's probably why I woke up early. One of my YouTube subscribers sent me a Valentine's card with 220 pound in it. I was like, oh, thank you. Bev didn't like it though. Actually, I tell you what, I know what's making Newport look different today. It's the fact I'm wearing these silly glasses. Everything's a nice shade of orange. Have a look and see how I'm seeing the world today. Ah, oh, see, isn't that much nicer? No wonder I'm happy. Where am I gonna bloody park? I need a breakfast. I haven't had one for ages. I found a spot where I'm not actually allowed to park, but it's near the Salvation Army, and Lloyd said I should go here for breakfast one day. Oh, it's up a really steep hill. Lloyd said he worked here as a photographer. <laughs> See, he told you it was steep. Look at it. Ah, oh, here, Salvation Army. I wonder what it is. Uh, no, nah, I think I went in the wrong place. I wouldn't eat there anyway, I don't think. But across the road's another one. Early start breakfast, £1.50. That looks okay in here. Smells a little bit odd in here, though. Hmm. Oh, yeah, do you do any veggie yeah. breakfasts? Yes, we do. One. Well, what's in it? Oh, veggie breakfast for some <laughs> No food. Oh, okay. Scram scrambled egg on toast with mushrooms, yeah? yeah. Cool, that'd be great. It's only £1.90. Oh, wow. Well, cool. Scrambled egg on toast with mushrooms for £1.90. That's not too bad. It's quite busy in here as well. There's some awfully weird, peculiar people in here. I'm not complaining, though. There's just a lot of posters about God on the wall. Mm. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. Okay. Jesus Christ, what was I expecting? Whoa, smashed it. That wasn't too bad, actually. I mean, it was certainly worth £1.90. I'll go back there. While I'm in town, and seeing as it's pretty empty, I'm going to head down the bank and sort out this bank card of mine. I suppose I should be looking out for things I want to photograph now I've got a new camera. The light seems really, really nice today. Here's my bank, Nat West. I'm in a genuinely happy mood today. Let's hope the bank doesn't spoil it. You've got your postcode. Uh, it's NP20. Yeah. 2FR. 2FR? Yeah. That's all. Bob's your uncle, all done, perfect. Should hurry back to the car, really. Hopefully, I haven't picked up a ticket. Jesus Christ, didn't realise hills were so steep up here. No ticket, jolly good. Back home, if Bev's up, she'll be applying the finishing touches to her LRPS panel. She's done all the prints herself now, and with the aid of Gemma, she's done the mounts too. She's got to put it all together, make sure it works. And dun dun dun, I'm sure you know by now we've got to go to Bath tomorrow for the assessment. Eek! Let's hope she's up. Hello, hello Tremedial. Is Bev up? No. Oh, bloody hell, she's still in bed. Oh no, she's not. She's in the shower. Hello, I thought you'd be up applying the finishing touches to your panel. <laughs> Well, at least she's getting up before 12 today. Here she is, wearing a pretty dress today. Nice blue dress. Do you want me to clear this kitchen table so you can do the mountain down here? Yes, please. Talk about meticulous work, Beverly. You're worse than me. And anyway, when you've got them all finished, we can take them outside because I set up the A-frame for you. Yeah. When Scott and I used to exhibit our arts roof stuff, Scott from Hayling Islands, we had these made up. They're huge A-frames. They take 15 40 by 50 prints on both sides and there's another one in the garage as well. Oh, it looks like Gemma's hanging out her dirty linen. Yeah, about time too. So when Bev's got her 10 prints ready, it'll be taking up two of them rows. Well, of course, that means depending on the weather, if it starts raining, I have to set it all back away again. Oh, Gemma, it's not morning anymore. You should stop being grumpy now. It's gone 12 o'clock. Do you remember the Europe vids? Grumpy every single morning. She's being a moody pants again, babe. She's been doing this for an hour now. She's only done five mounts. They are looking fantastic though. Well, while she's doing that, I'll come in here and show you about my new camera. I really want to take it out into the field and find some new photos, take some photos and stuff. But it's a bit too heavy to scout with, isn't it? What I mean, I can't just carry it around over my shoulder and see if I can make some compositions with it. So I made something, this. It might look absolutely ridiculous, but if I go out with this and I place this on my nose there, it's about the right length. What I see through this little square is what I get in the camera. So for example, if I wanted to take a picture down the street or something, which I wouldn't, I'd just put that up to my nose, and that's the picture I'd get. <laughs> it's a little bit lighter than dragging the large format camera around me everywhere, isn't it? Oh yeah, see, how about this? I could take a nice little picture of Bev working, see? 
If anybody wants to buy one of these fabulous contraptions that I've invented, it's £10 with £38 postage and packaging. As you can see, I have my lovely model here demonstrating it. What do you think? Mmm, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and as you can see, that is the view she'd get if she had the 4x5 camera up to her face. <laughs> I'm going to put that in my camera bag. I'll get funnier looks with that than the actual camera itself. Beverly's mother, I know you watch these videos, what do you think of her mounted malarkey that she's doing today? Look how she's doing it, she's using the aperture as a backboard. Not bad idea, it's cheaper. Last one, are you happy taking these out into the elements to show them up on the panel? As long as bird doesn't poo on them. <laughs> yeah, because it's out there in the garden, you see, and you don't want to mess them up, do you? Oh dear, it's starting to cloud over. I think I'd better take it indoors. I don't want to risk it, really. All right, come on, scrumpy tits. We're going to take that A-frame so it's in the living room. Oh, she's all done. The prints are there. We've moved the A-frame into the living room. We'll show you. Duncan's way. Duncan, Tom, Gemma, and Bev, this is the first time we've all been in the same room. <laughs> oh, this is our house. <laughs> and there it is, we're going to stick them up here now. Follow me, darling, this way. Now you're going to have to put all ten up there. Let her do it, I don't want to mess up any of the prints by handling them. It's looking good, babe. She's just in there at the moment, admiring them. I think they look fantastic, Beverly. Are you proud of them, babe? Aside from any rearranging, it's all finished. Do you want to talk us through it? <laughs> so, the top row is light and the bottom row is dark. Yeah, I can see that. The bottom row concentrates on compositions, lights, shapes, textures. And the top row is different sort of techniques in photography. So you've got macro, you've got different compositions, different styles, reflections. Perspectives. Fantastic! <laughs> well, Beverly, I remember you taking these in Vegas, and I do hope the judges at the LRPS assessment get these. Well, it looks like such a boring scene. You've arranged light and composition, shapes and colours, and it's just perfect. And seriously, the camera on the iPhone is not doing this one justice. It's absolutely fantastic. Are you going to give us a link so people can see it? Yes. Links are down below in the information section, right there. <laughs> I don't know why she was pointing at her boobs, she means just underneath the video. <laughs> if these judges don't get it, I will personally get up there and whack them. All of them. All four. Anyway, what's the jugular thing? Is she going to pass? Yes. Or else. Beverly, I'm so worried about doing a vlog tomorrow. Because it means doing reactions, we don't know whether it's going to be a pass or a fail. We know the photos are good enough and the quality is good enough, but we don't know about the quality of the judging, do we? So, be honest babe, do you mind having your emotions and your skills and your quality and your photography being broadcast to the world tomorrow? As long as people don't mind me seeing me cry. <laughs> she won't cry, she's going to pass 100%. If she doesn't, I'm going to eat these glasses. <coughs> because she's done such a good job, I let her pick the food I was going to make and I'm making a veggie wraps. Got some lush corn pieces and chilli peppers in here, yum. I don't think you girls are going to be ready for the amazingness that is these wraps that I'm making. They're ignoring me. One's on the iPad, the other's on the iPhone. It's typical in this house. You see that? That, there, that is a wrap. <laughs> Out of ten? Ten. How many stars? Mm. You know what? This is the first time we've really had nothing to do for the rest of the day for a long, long time. Bev, do you fancy getting being at chess again? Bev, stop playing with your bloody iPads. Three, two, one, go. Well, nothing's changed in the last month. She still takes ages to make her move. <laughs> oh dear, check matey pies. Sorry. But aside from chess, you're never going to beat me anyway. Something else we always do is go to the cinema. My friend Ross, who subscribed to me on YouTube, says we've got to go and see Buried. Our iPad app says it's on at seven o'clock. Do you want to go? Do you mind showing a bit more bloody enthusiasm for things? I'm still Mickey Beat me. I was so close. <laughs> this is going to sound a bit odd. You know on Facebook people defriend you and stuff when they've had enough of you or whatever. Well, my old friend, one of my best friends, like from a couple of years ago, Gareth Hall, just defriended me on Facebook. What? It's funny how such a little thing like that, just a click of a button, still makes you feel so crap. Oh, well, better just laugh it off and forget about it. So, Gareth, I'm sorry that I said that the colours you used on the website you designed gave me epilepsy. Oh, it's dark in here, babe. The film starts in half an hour. Do you still want to go and see it? Yes. Yeah, the sun's just gone down. We better leave now. 
Come on, babe, it's starting to rain outside. It's getting dark. You, be good while we're gone. What are you doing? Playing poker? Good. Oh, got the chocolate? Yes. Meow, 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 meow. So, Ross, I'm going on your recommendation. If this film's crap, I'm blaming you. Have you got your free cinema pass? I uh, have indeed. Me too. It's absolutely dead in here. Screen 13, we've not been into this one yet. Buried. I don't really like horrors and I don't like confined spaces, so I'm not sure about this. I love them. Right, time to turn the phone off. Please turn off your phone. Thank you. Cool, I can't believe we just watched an entire film set in a two by six box. <laughs> Can we sleep with the light on tonight? <laughs> I won't be surprised if I get nightmares from that. Here you go, this is a poster on the outside of the cinema of the film we just saw. The whole film was set in that box. Oh, well, back in the car now. That was one of the few films I remember thinking, I really need a happy ending here. <laughs> I'll wait till we're back home, then I'll finish up the video. Oh, home, hello germs, how are you? You haven't moved. And as promised, it's day 276 of 365. Beverly's home, we're gonna go to the RPS thing tomorrow for her little assessment. You're looking forward towards that, aren't you? No. We're not gonna <laughs> sleep tonight. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye! Make sure you leave a message below or something wishing Bev some support for tomorrow.